A touching tribute after a local artist paints a portrait of the 12 year old boy who died when an ice cream truck crashed through his home. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Sharice Gibson and I'm Katie Moore. In the piece, he's dressed as a superhero and Erica Ferrando spoke with the artist today. She's joining us now in the studio with this touching story. So sad, Erica. It is and Javier Adrian Flores Fajardo. He's now a hero to several families through organ donation. His family made that tough decision after learning he was brain dead and this story touched strangers in the community, including a local artist who hopes his gift to the family will bring a little light during the dark days they're facing. Artist Rodney King picked up his paintbrush after seeing young Javier Adrian Flores Fajardo's story. The 12 year old who loved school, soccer and Superman died after an ice cream truck crashed through his Kenner home. After learning he was brain dead, his parents decided to donate all of his organs to save up to eight lives. I, mean, I just felt, you know what, I could paint Javier Superman and then finding out, of course, that he passed away and how he was potentially saved seven or eight lives. I was like, you know what? I need to reach out. I need to make contact and make this happen. With Adrian's family's permission, King began painting Adrian with his warm smile and dressed as the life-saving superhero he is. I just hope it brings them light in a dark situation. Over the last several years, King has painted portraits for more than 30 families whose tragedies have touched the community, a gift at no cost to the family to help through their darkest times. Labors of love is what it's called. LSU student Maddie Brooks, New Orleans police officer Trevor Abney, and Lafouche Parish Sheriff Sergeant Nicholas Pepper, all victims of tragedy who King has honored. Paint those, donate those to the family and or the, uh, their respective departments. So now y'all have a guardian angel with you guys. King is a law enforcement officer himself. He's a sheriff's deputy in Plaquemines Parish. Whenever a tragedy strikes, a family is kind of like frozen and they don't know how to react. And I feel that artwork is a, a bright, it brings like a, a bright spark into a dark situation. And just with my artwork, for, my, for me personally, I feel like it kind of helped the mourning process. He met with Adrian's aunt, uncle, and young cousin Monday to present them with the portrait of their hero. And he said, look at Javier, he's super Javier. Adrian's family says his funeral will be held this Saturday at Verbo Church in Kenner. Our heart is with them. Thank you, Erica. The